so in today's video we will be key mapping FlyDG Apex 2 using VWAS. Get ready. So that we can use the full feature of FlyDG Apex 2, especially the gyroscope when playing PC game. So let's go. Let's start. So what we need to do is to open the Rewas application for PC and then connect your Fly DJ Apex 2. It's it's really up to you if you want to use the cable or the dongle. So So in connecting Fly DJ Apex 2 to Rewas app. So make sure that this LED light is only active when connecting it to Rewas. So if ever that your Fly DJ Apex 2 has two LED lights on, it's on Xbox mode. So if you want to connect this Apex 2 to Rewast app, make sure that only one LED light is on. So you need to press on hold, press and hold the pay ring and select button. So let me show you why. So if you connect your Fly DJ Apex 2 with two LEDs on, this mode is what we call the Xbox mode. So you can see, rewast. So this is the gamepad. If you click this, you will only see Xbox 360. So let's turn this Fly DG Apex to, to the default Fly DG Apex mode. In order to change this to Apex 2 mode, you need to press and hold the pairing button and the select button. Press and hold. And now it turns into Apex 2 mode. FlyDG Apex 2 mod. FlyDG connects to the Rewast application. You will see this gamepad. It's a FlyDG gamepad. So click on this. So click on Agree. So the first thing you need to do is to create new team profile. So let's say we will be key mapping Black Ops in black ops 3 and let's click add and you will see you will be directed here so this is the fly dg of course if this is one if you click this you'll see the back part of the fly dg this is the front port if you want your fly dg apex to have a default um xbox one key map we go here and you can choose whatever you want so you choose virtual xbox one so it will it will have an automatic key map and this is the default key map of the xbox one this is the default configuration of the xbox one so this one is the um, reload switch weapon crouch prone and the jump and melee attack if you press this one and sprint if you press this one left trigger is the default for ads and right trigger is the default for fire or attack or firing after you came up this to xbox one then you can also do some um, manual key mapping for this one so if I want to key map this with my own configuration I'll change this I'll, I'll put the reload here the crouch here and the switch weapon here since we will be using 5G Apex 2 so it's really a must that you key map the gyroscope feature of FlyDG Apex 2 so in order to key map that 
So by default, you cannot use the gyroscope feature of by DG Apex 2. So you need to came up that using the Rewas application for PC. So this icon here is the, the gyroscope. So click this. You can see some options here. And you need to click the mouse here. It's highlighted in yellow. So if you want to adjust the sensitivity of the gyroscope, you need to remove this check and you can change the sensitivity here. The x-axis is here. Change this to 10. And the y-axis, change this to 10. That's it. Let's click here. So I want my left trigger to have a gyroscope. So in order to do that, so click this and you can see options here. So this one is the single press, this is the long press, double press, triple press, and pressing this one is to press and this one is to release. So let's do key up the left trigger. So left trigger is go here if you click this you can see a bunch of options here and this is the option for key keyboard and mouse and the gamepad so if you're key mapping gamepad I suggest that you disable this to the keyboard and the mouse then you'll see the option is lesson you can only see the gamepad and some options here. So click the left trigger. Where's the left trigger? This is the left trigger. So it will be single click. And then, if you want to enable the gyroscope for this one, go here. And then go here. And then all the way down, turn gyro on. And after that, what it does is when you press on the press and hold the left trigger, the it will it will activate the gyroscope. So after that, we need to do the, we need to do this. Click here, click here, and all the way down again. Turn the gyro off. So what, what this does is when you press and hold the left trigger, so pressing and holding the left trigger will activate the gyroscope. And if you release the left trigger, it will disable the gyroscope. You can click here, the disk icon, or you can click on apply. So you can see here, that's it been activated so after that you need to auto the you need to click the auto detect the reason for this is you don't need to open the rewas application in order to activate the key mapping let's click this so choose the list of apps you want to auto detect okay so black ops 3 so we need to add exe file and you, you just need to find the exe file of that game so since we're key mapping black ops let's click black black ops 3 and then open and then save so let's close this first and then open the game so we're here now in the game uh, this is the Fly DJ Pix 2. Let me show you the option for gamepad. Select here and gamepad. So by default, I choose stick layout here. Default left stick is the movement of the character, and the right stick is the look around. So I chose that. 
back again to button layout so this is the button layout all by default so make sure only one LED light that appears here so that means you're in the fly VG apex mode we set this left trigger as our scope and at the same time gyroscope so press and hold the left trigger press and hold and press and hold as you can see and if we tilt up tilt down left right so you can adjust the sensitivity of the gyroscope the one that I showed you earlier so left right left right jump jump left right so right trigger is the fire character movement up down left right down left. and this is the look around switch weapon see um, crouch prone press and hold okay jumps the same and let's try first and then the, this will be our reload this is I set this to toggle gyroscope on and off so if I press this one see gyroscope gyroscope is activated and I press this one and if I press this again it disable it disables it disables the gyroscope so if I press this again it activates the gyroscope and if, and if I press this again it disables the gyroscope so that's how it works and I will be using this key the M1 I will make this gyroscope toggle on and off Click this one first in here okay. and you can toggle gyro on and off and you can save it here. Click click this for melee attack and you need to press this to run. Then you press and it will run. And then press full run by default this is the L3 and R3 So by the way, this Rewas application for PC is only a um, trial version. So as you can see here, trial and license days left four. So if you like this Rewas app for key mapping 5DG Apex 2, you can buy this. So that's all. And I hope that you like this video and once again see you in my next video stay safe because I care Get ready.